All right, so I want to give you a little update on my making my ninja sword here. Uh, making the big one first, the smaller ones down here. One of the things that I've done is I got the uh, birchwood bluing paste. And as you can see, I basically have blued the blade since it's a ninja blade and that has hidden a lot of the uh, wear marks from the grinding. It still has little circular patterns, but I used uh, some techniques to make them all relatively the same direction. So it looks pretty good. So, you know, for a homemade sword. <clears throat> and then it's blued to hide, uh, make it darken to hide that. And also this is leaf spring and leaf springs have a tendency to rust. So that also helps to uh, keep them from rusting by having them blued and taking care of them. All right, <clears throat> so I made the, uh, palm a lot of steel leaf spring or the handguard sorry and uh, when I drilled it and everything is really hard and I finally drilled it and filed it enough to get it on but it was loose so what I've done here if you can see the glue and the wood down there is I took little wood pieces just like you put in the top of an axe but I cut them special put uh, epoxy on them and then hammered them down to affix this and lock it tight into place now that it's locked, I'm going to go through with my grinder and make this a little more even. The hand guard is a little uneven on certain sides. So like uh, Huck was saying to me last night, he always puts the hand, he always makes the hand guard and then shapes it once it's on the knife instead of shaping it and putting it on the knife because it's a lot easier once it's on the knife to make it all even and look good. Uh, the handle, as you can see, was made out of two square pieces of wood. I glued them together. And then I took and then I have a belt sander there. And uh, once I glued them together, I drilled holes through them and then put a uh, wooden dowel through and put glue on the wooden dowel. So these are pinned in three, three even places. Got it pinned on and then I just proceeded to uh, cut off all the excess wood with the belt sander to make a nice smooth handle. And tomorrow I plan on uh, attempting to uh, get the stuff to wrap it to make it look like their traditional uh, sword handle wrap. And I saw a video on how they wrap these, so I'm gonna give it a try. Might look like a third grader did it, but who knows, we'll see. So I'm gonna give it the same wrapped handle as say this one has. And then uh, once I get that guard shaped and re-blued, uh, I'll have to put the edge on the blade and uh, it's getting close to getting done. So, hey, look forward to that.